I'm Andy Ryder. And I'm Connor Rowley. And our project is the physics of a swing. Yeah, a lot of people like to say that the motion of a pump swing is that of a parametric oscillator. A parametric oscillator is similar to a simple harmonic oscillator except for two key things. The first one is that something about a parametric oscillator varies with time. This could either be the force on the object, the mass of the object, or the distance the object is away from the pivot point. The second change from a simple harmonic oscillator is that when the driving force has a frequency twice that of a natural frequency, the oscillator grows in an exponential fashion. For a simple harmonic oscillator, resonance occurs when the natural frequency is equal to the drive frequency. At resonance, the amplitude increases in a linear rate, which is seen here. For our case in the swing, the angle, the maximum angle displaced from the equilibrium position will increase linearly with respect to time. So we based our work from an article published by Dr. Case, which claims that the pumping motion of a swing is not in fact a parametric oscillator, but it is a simple harmonic oscillator. This is all based on the fact that the pumping motion of a swing causes the center of mass of the person pumping the swing to remain constant at all times. So we're going to base, uh, we're going to replicate this by showing the person has a barbell with her center of mass at the uh, end of the swinging chain, or in our case a bar, and we have a, a couple of simulations and a demonstration to prove this. Here we have successfully modeled the system as described in Dr. Case's article. We have a stepper motor which is connected to a barbell which contains a constant center of mass, making it a simple harmonic oscillator, not a parametric oscillator. We have this um, placed on the table in order to reduce the, the damping because these hubs will rotate and ro uh, roll without slipping, causing little friction, and um, so resonance will producing a higher Q value. So here we'll start the demonstration. There we go, we can see the amplitude is increasing linearly as time passes. All right, and here you'll see the with lower friction produces larger amplitudes, which can be seen here. All right, so using the same system, I constructed this apparatus to model the swing also. But in this system, there's one thing that changes significant that changes the whole system significantly, and that is an increased damping parameter. These contacts, which will be connected to the, the axis of rotation, cause more damping in the system, thus causing a, a lower Q value and a smaller amplitude resonance. The, res the natural frequency will remain the same in this case because we know that the square root of g over l is the natural frequency. The length of the rod still remains constant. The only thing that changed is what's holding the axis of rotation. So here I'll begin the, the, the motor driving. And the motor is driven at the same frequency as in the previous demonstration. And we can see that the amplitude is significantly smaller than in the previous situation because the damping is higher. So after starting the simulation, we can see that it is producing some amplitude. But this amplitude is much, much smaller due to the damping factor. This is a simulation of the swinging system. The simulation will allow us to observe the data as it's being created and analyze it. We will also be able to look at a graph of theta as it changes versus time. As you can see, the system starts out vertically, just much like the swing. We have the swing represented by a barbell with three different masses. The center of mass is attached 
at the middle of the barbells to the swing system. As the masses rock back and forth around the center of mass, not changing the center of mass's position, you can see on the graph, at the graph on the right that the angle phi, which is the angle away from the vertical, increases linearly with time. This is a V-Python simulation of a parametric oscillator. In this parametric oscillator, the distance from the object to the pivot point is what varies. We will be comparing this to the swing. As you can see, the blue ball varies its position, which causes the distance between the pivot point, which is the teal ball, and the orange sphere to change. If you look at the graph on the right, you can see that the growth between the first two points, which I then use to extrapolate a linear growth, does not match the growth overall growth of the angle away from the vertical. If you look, you can see that it is exponential in nature. In summary, we have shown that the pump swing is not a parametric oscillator. While theta, the angle between the swing and the equilibrium position is less than 40 degrees, the oscillator acts as a simple harmonic oscillator, proving Dr. Case's argument. This can be seen in the linearity of theta's growth as time varies and the lack of time-dependent factors in the oscillator. Special thanks to Devin Lockie, Professor Matt Weebold, Professor Amy Cullen, and Dr. Bill Kay.